Yo, look at this uh, elevator here. I wonder how this thing, um, how this thing kind of functions. I guess I'll just, oh my. All right, we're going up. Okay. Elevators work it. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Not gonna lie, I'm a little freaked out here. This is pretty legit. Go, oh, push me out and everything. Oh my gosh. Yo, what's up guys? Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget dudes. How sick is that? How freaking sick is that? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a fully automatic, actually working elevator in Theme Park Tycoon 2. So it's pretty legit. Um, I don't know if this, it's it's ready. Oh, it's not ready yet. Don't look. Don't look. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a um, an automatic, actually working elevator today, which is really cool. And it's actually not my idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Nope. You haven't seen anything yet. Now we're just going to hop in our elevator. Okay. This is actually not my idea, dude. So I got to give credit where credit is due okay this was actually this idea that you're seeing here uh this was actually tweeted at me from one of you dudes um the twitter handle i'll put it in is at elzon almenanza one all right so i probably absolutely butchered how to say that but um yeah, that, that's the homie that helped me, um, kind of show me how this thing is legit. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it today, and it's pretty cool. As you can see, all automatic, all really cool, so let's just freaking get into it. All right, so step one, you're going to want to actually, um, dig into the ground a little bit, or you can kind of build up a platform however you want to. I think I'm going to need one more bigger on this. I think you need about this size. What is this, like a three? Is this a three by three? This is a three by three, one, two, three. Yeah, so a three by three uh, big. Um, you're going to need that to go down, I believe, three. So you're literally making... Whoop, that was a mistake. You're literally making a perfect cube. Oh, rip me, man. I totally just goofed that. We're going to go boom and boom. All right, so you're making a three by three, okay? A three deep, three to the side, three to the other side, all right? You're going to make that a little hole. I kind of messed up. Don't look. This is awkward. This is embarrassing. It's fine. Everyone just relax. I'm going to fill these in. No one's seen anything. Anyway, the next thing you're going to want to do is actually grab an observation tower ride and you're going to want to put it into that little hole right there so you can kind of see it right there. You don't need any entrances or exits and you can go ahead and put it in testing mode and I'll kind of show you how this works really quick um, in the back here. Now, this isn't the only, it, it's a little bit trickier than it looks. So I'm going to show you behind here how it works right now. I'm going to build it for you guys, but it's a little bit trickier and it kind of was um, a little bit challenging for me at first because uh, because of one little thing at the very end that you need to make sure you have or else it, or else it doesn't work so um also really quick if you guys don't know i built uh, th this is my this is my world in theme park Tekken 2 for kind of building some cool things so if you guys haven't seen my video with the jukeboxes that was like the top or that was like the five easter eggs in theme park tycoon or the longest roller coaster you guys should definitely watch those videos i'll leave them at the end of this one for you guys but anyway so at the at behind this what you've got here is you got your observation tower right um we can delete that guy. So you got your observation tower, which is how you're getting pushed up and down, right? That's how the elevator pushes you up and then also how it brings you down. Um, but it's a little bit more challenging than that, right? Because this will obviously move you up, move you down. But if this was kind of structured the way it's structured right now, pretty much there's this gap, right? Like there's this gap right here to where if you were to walk out, you would, you would fall down and get trapped like I just did. And now I'm completely stuck. Anywho, though, that's basically how the elevator works. Uh, I'm gonna be building it right now, so you guys can actually see it, um, and I'll and I'll show you how you get around that, you know, not getting trapped feature. And I don't know if you guys notice on this elevator, but it actually pushes you out perfectly. So um, it's at the top right now, so it's coming down. Um, but pretty much right when you get to the top, right when you get up here, it's going to actually push you out, so you don't just stand there awkwardly and then end up going back down. It'll actually slowly push you out of the elevator, um, which is a cool little feature as well. So all right, here's how we do it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build some paths just so you guys can kind of, um, just so you guys can visualize it. So we're going to build some paths right here. And basically, this is how people are going to be getting into our elevator. Our elevator basically starts right here. So what you're going to want to do is go over here, grab yourself like a, um, let's just grab some walls to start. Let's just, let's just do some walls. Um, we're going to go ahead and just grab brick walls. That'll do for now, I guess. A little, little example purposes. So you're going to want to build your kind of, you know, frame to your elevator. So there's our elevator right here, right? We're going to build it. Boom. We're going to build it boom, and we're going to build it boom. So there's our frame. This is what we are going to be stepping into and then shooting us up so we can get to the top. So um, that's what our frame looks like, all right? Then the next thing you want to do is you're probably going to want to get a... We could do a metal... Let's see if we can find it. Metal... Looking for like a metal floor, metal roof kind of thing. Um, 
you know what? We're just going to slowly run over here and grab our little picker tool and grab this because I hate finding things in Theme Park Tycoon 2, especially when they're like right next to you. So we're just going to grab that. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh, I just did a path to this. I thought I didn't use a path to this in the beginning um, because I didn't want actually people, like 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 actual guests running onto it. Um, but I guess since this is an example world, who really cares? All right, boom. So there's our floor. I use metal because metal actually looks decent for a for an elevator floor. But so this is our floor. So now you can see when I step onto this, it pushes us up. And that is essentially what this elevator is right there. It pushes you up, and that's pretty much it. And you can actually make... Um, the elevator shorter and longer depending on your build. So I did this right only three blocks deep. You can send it way deeper if you don't want the gap between the two elevator doors to be as big. Uh, so that's kind of an option for you as well that I was kind of thinking about. But anyway, all right. So um, so this is where this is where our elevator is pushing us up. So let's just say let's say we grab our walls here and let's take it all the way up. Right? Let's oh bad choice for walls. Literally the worst choice for walls right there. My bad. Anyway, you got yourself your walls. We're going to be building them all the way up here. We're going to go all the way, all the way, all the way up to the top. And you'll kind of have to um, wait for... Whoop, you're going to have to wait for the ride to go all the way up to the top to see where you need to actually stop building, um, which we'll see in a second right here. But it's pretty simple to kind of do once you see it. Once once you once you build this thing once, it's like really easy to do. There's only, like I said, one little minor feature at the top that makes things a little bit complicated, a little bit challenging. But other than that, it's a pretty simple build. It's really cool. It can add a lot of creativity to your, uh, to your park as well. So this is our floor right here. So at this layer right here, this is going to be our floor. So I'm going to mark this. I'm going to go like that, and that is going to be our floor right there. So it does not mean that's how far your wall goes up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that guy. I'm going to grab some more walls here. So this is probably going to, you're probably going to want your, your walls to go about two over it. I'd say about two over it. Um, and I'm going to mark this as well by doing that, and then we'll, we'll build this guy all the way down. All right, so this is going to be your elevator, like your elevator shaft, all right? This is going to be, this is going to be um, where your elevator kind of comes up and down. And I believe... Um, you, you got to have Disable Collisions Game Pass. I'm sorry for those dudes who don't, but uh, you do need to have that or else this I don't think is going to work unless there's a way around it. I don't really know. But anyway, okay, so that's where our floor is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to go ahead and put you right there. So that should be our floor. I'm going to test this, though. We're going to see where this thing actually puts us out on. Uh, delete that guy. And let's see. Is that going to be perfect? Is that going to be money? Are we money right now? I think we are money. Uh, we're not money. I think we got to go up one can't really tell we got to go up one okay we got to go up one more than that so boom boom yeah we want to be right here Ooh, right there all right so we want to be right at the tip top of that and then um, I'll show you guys in a second why you need this this little feature right here or else you're gonna be kind of screwed but first off you're gonna want to get that auto eject feature so just search primitive and go for the this guy is it this guy I can never tell uh, yeah, this guy. Okay, so then you're going to want this guy. You're going to want to put him right above here, right above there. I think that one we're going to test it though right here. Basically, what this does is it, it slides you out, right? Like it slides your character out of the elevator so you actually exit it instead of just kind of getting stuck in there. So let's see if that's the right height. I might need to move it um, down one, but we're going to see right now. And you'll see why we're going to have a very important piece right now and that this elevator doesn't function without it in just a second when this thing pushes me off. All right, so for here, I think that's the right height. Yep, so that's the right height. So that's what you don't want to happen right there is it pushes you out and you fall all the way back down. That's the problem that you're going to end up running into unless you do one little thing. Um, but that's good, and you can, you, you can you know, design this to make it look like part of the elevator. So if you can kind of look in this and this one right here, it is part. it looks like it's part of the elevator. Um, because I changed the texture, I changed the color, all that good stuff. Elevator's up there right now, but you can kind of see that's the primitive piece right there. It looks like it blends in. So that's what you want to do. You want it to blend in so people don't even notice that it's curved or that it's there, and it just automatically spits you out. So that's the goal. All right, so then also here, let me show you the little piece over here. While, while I'm over here, let me show you the little piece that makes this thing. It was very frustrating when I first built it, but it's the only way that this thing actually functions is with this little itty-bitty piece up here. I'm going to show you it. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think it's a, a, a facade. I believe it's a facade. It's this guy right here. It's this facade piece. I think it's facade, maybe facade. I think it's facade. Um, so you'll see that when, when the top pushes me, it pushes me onto this little facade piece right here. That is super, super, super important. If you don't have that, your guy's just going to keep falling down, all right? So you need to have this thing, and it's going to go just like this. 
It's going to go skadoink, skadoink, skadoink right there. There you go. And you can kind of design it, color it, and everything, try to make it blend in as well. But that is pretty much how your elevator works and functions. I'm going to show you how you make it look better in just a second. But what you're going to want to do is probably close this up to about there. You're going to want your guy to be able to walk in, but you don't really need... I mean, maybe you can have a, a, a glass elevator. I guess that could work, although it would kind of look weird with this thing in the background. Um, but you can kind of you know close it all up, take it all the way up to the top like this. And then also some some things to make your elevator actually look good, which the other one that I that I showed has is one. The first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to actually color your uh, your ride, your observation tower. If you don't color your observation tower, it's gonna look kind of awkward. Unless your floor is blue, it's gonna look kind of awkward. So come over in appearance and change all of this to whatever floor color you want. So if we wanted it to be black. We change everything to black, not just one thing on here. You got to change everything to black because it's going to change every little piece on here to make it as black as possible, and make it fit in as well. Okay. Now, the last thing you guys want to do, and this is something that actually took me a while to get absolutely right. So when I was building this, I wanted it to be absolutely perfect. So when I originally built it, I put, um, I put the brick wall all the way around the elevator. So this, this metal wall that you see, the white wall, um, it was actually all brick to start. And the reason being is because I had it all brick and then I had an elevator that wasn't fully stretched. So this is, this is a graphic, right? An image panel. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But it wasn't fully stretched out. So the elevator really came to like here and then like here. And then there was also in the same graphic, there was an elevator button. And then on top, there was like an up or down arrow. So it looked like a legit elevator. And then the background on that image, I tried matching to the wall, the brick wall. Um, but it was like nearly impossible because you're, whenever your lighting changes, like when you go into build mode, when the, when the sun goes down, when it's nighttime, when you've got lights on here, the lighting changes completely. And it is really, really, really hard to make it look absolutely perfect. Same, same color scheme, same everything, same texture. It's very hard and it's, it's very um, annoying to see that it doesn't match up perfectly. So I just said, scrap that idea. And I scrapped and I made the, um, the elevator the full width of the image panel, which you guys can kind of see. Um, so there really isn't any kind of corner. I guess this right here, but that's, that's a wall. No, that's a background of the wall. So the way to fix that is just go like this. The way to fix that guy is to do one of these guys, just replace these. Boom and boom, and now that thing's gone. So that's that's how that looks, and it, and it looks really flush, right? It's just an image panel, and I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second. Um, or also here, let me go ahead and actually just copy this one. So I've got one of the image panels set, and I can show you it on the top one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this guy right here. So that's our, that, that's our elevator door, right? And you can kind of pick whatever image panel you want. But basically, I created my own graphic for this. Um, and you guys can kind of see that here, this image, this elevator image. Um, now, I've got it pulled up on another on another monitor of mine. So if you guys wanted to use this image, you just got to type in the, the correct ID. Or you can kind of just look for it on my on my profile with my decals. I made a lot of, a lot of decals, um, but it's the one that's just elevator period. So if I go and change image, or you can just look at the video and, uh, and type in, why, there you go, type in, um, type in this ID, right? So the, the decal ID is going to be for this image that I use, the one that I created, is going to be... 315-788-7085. Okay, I copy and pasted that. We'll go ahead and once you click that, you hit enter. Here you see this guy right here, and bam, you got your little ele ele elevator, elevator. Got your little elevator right there. And um, to get the image panel, guys, it's literally just the image panel. For those of you who don't know, literally just the image panel. You want the square one right here. Place this guy right here and do exactly what we just did. Type in that, uh, type in that number over here, and you're good to go. And you're good to go. And then voila, you got yourself a freaking legit 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 elevator i mean this is this is really unique this is really cool shout out to the homie who tweeted at me for that um because a lot of people do this this is what a lot of people do they've got this setup it looks exactly like this right it looks exactly like this but then when you walk into it it's literally a teleporter that teleports you to the top and then you walk out of it and then you teleport back down which is the more practical way to build an elevator i will say it is the more practical way all right, because if you don't want to have to wait for this thing to go up and down constantly or you don't have enough room to build it constantly, yeah, an elevator is going to or, or a teleporter is going to do the trick for you for your elevator. But I think this is really cool. It adds a lot of character, adds a, adds a, another unique component to your park. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys can use this in your parks. I might actually try to use this in some of my parks moving forward. But I like doing little builds like this and stuff like that. So if you guys have some really good, unique building ideas, definitely tweet them at me. I love that. The, the homie tweeted me a video and everything. Um, so tweet me at him. Tweet me some screenshots. Tweet me some videos. Whatever you guys want to do, I will gladly make a video on him. Show everyone else in the community how to do it. I know there's a lot of other really cool building ideas out there for like making 
curved rails and stuff that I might end up making videos on. So if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you let me know by uh, by smashing that like button, commenting down below, guys. But that is where I'm going to call the video. Again, hopefully you enjoyed this. And until next time, if you haven't already, make sure you be fly and subscribe. Okay. okay, yeah, I'm a flyer. Yeah. Bitches, hit a spit of killing with the brothers, filling up the building, chilling, about to make a killing, feeling always building, about to stack it to the ceiling. Uh. Haters over there, we're not aware of you. Rockin' with my boy Shawnee, a character. Rep the red, white, and blue, America. Uh.